Module 1, Threats, Attacks, and Vulnerabilities, Set 2. Cross-Site Request Forgery, XSRF. Cross-Site Request Forgery, also known as one-click attack or session writing and abbreviated as CSRF, sometimes pronounced CSRF, or XSRF, is a type of malicious exploit of a website where unauthorized commands are submitted from a user that the web application trusts. Privilege Escalation Privilege escalation is the act of exploiting a bug, design flaw, or configuration oversight in an operating system or software application to gain elevated access to resources that are normally protected from an application or user. ARP Poisoning Address Resolution Protocol ARP, Poisoning is when an attacker sends falsified ARP messages over a local area network LAN, to link an attacker's MAC address with the IP address of a legitimate computer or server on the network. Amplification Amplification means increasing the amplitude, voltage or current, of a time-varying signal by a given factor, as shown here. DNS poisoning DNS spoofing, also referred to as DNS cache poisoning, is a form of computer security hacking in which corrupt domain name system data is introduced into the DNS resolver's cache, causing the name server to return an incorrect result record, e.g. an IP address. Domain hijacking Domain hijacking or domain theft is the act of changing the registration of a domain name without the permission of its original registrant, or by abuse of privileges on domain hosting and registrar software systems. Man in the Browser Man in the Browser, MITB, attacks utilize a Trojan horse covertly installed on a computer system that modifies the user's web transactions in real time, intercepting the messages in a public key exchange and replacing the targeted security keys with fake ones. Zero Day A Zero Day, also known as Zero Day, Vulnerability is a computer software vulnerability that is unknown to those who should be interested in mitigating the vulnerability, including the vendor of the target software. Replay A game replay is a form of user-generated content. In most instances, a game replay is a recording of a battle between opponents in a video game which can then be viewed by other players. Pass the hash Encrypt analysis and computer security, pass the hash is a hacking technique that allows an attacker to authenticate to a remote server or service by using the underlying NTLM or LANMAN hash of a user's password, instead of requiring the associated plain text password as is normally the case. Clickjacking Clickjacking, classified as a user interface redress attack, UI redress attack, UI redressing, is a malicious technique of tricking a user into clicking on something different from what the user perceives, thus potentially revealing confidential information or allowing others to take control of their computer while. Session hijacking In computer science, session hijacking, sometimes also known as cookie hijacking is the exploitation of a valid computer session sometimes also called a session key to gain unauthorized access to information or services in a computer system url hijacking typo squatting also called url hijacking a sting site or a fake url is a form of cyber squatting and possibly brand jacking which relies on mistakes such as typos made by internet users when inputting a website address into a web browser. Typo squatting Typo squatting, also called URL hijacking, a sting site, or a fake URL, is a form of cyber squatting, and possibly brand jacking which relies on mistakes such as typos made by internet users when inputting a website address into a web browser. Shimming. In computer programming, a shim is a library that transparently intercepts API calls and changes the arguments passed, handles the operation itself or redirects the operation elsewhere. Shims can also be used for running programs on different software platforms than they were developed for. Refactoring. In computer programming and software design, 
Code refactoring is the process of restructuring existing computer code changing the factoring without changing its external behavior. Many development environments provide automated support for performing the mechanical aspects of these basic refactorings. Max spoofing Max spoofing is a technique for changing a factory assigned media access control MAC, address of a network interface on a network device. Essentially, MAC spoofing entails changing a computer's identity, for any reason, and it is relatively easy. IP spoofing In computer networking, IP address spoofing or IP spoofing is the creation of Internet Protocol IP, packets with a false source IP address, for the purpose of impersonating another computing system. Replay A game replay is a form of user-generated content. In most instances, a game replay is a recording of a battle between opponents in a video game which can then be viewed by other players. 4. Initialization Vector An initialization vector, 4, is an arbitrary number that can be used along with a secret key for data encryption. This number, also called a nonce, is employed only one time in any session. The for length is usually comparable to the length of the encryption key or block of the cipher in use. Evil Twin An evil twin, in security, is a rogue wireless access point that masquerades as a legitimate Wi-Fi access point so that an attacker can gather personal or corporate information without the end user's knowledge. He then sends out his own radio signal, using the same name as the legitimate access point. Rogue AP, Access Point A rogue access point is a wireless access point that has been installed on a secure network without explicit authorization from a local network administrator, whether added by a well-meaning employee or by a malicious attacker. WPS, Wi-Fi Protected Setup Wi-Fi Protected Setup, WPS, originally, Wi-Fi Simple Config is a network security standard to create a secure wireless home network. Wi-Fi protected setup allows the owner of Wi-Fi privileges to block other users from using their household Wi-Fi. The owner can also allow people to use Wi-Fi. Blue jacking. Blue snarfing is the unauthorized access of information from a wireless device through a Bluetooth connection, often between phones, desktops, laptops, and PDAs. Personal Digital Assistant Blue Snarfing Blue Snarfing is the unauthorized access of information from a wireless device through a Bluetooth connection, often between phones, desktops, laptops, and PDAs. Personal Digital Assistant Both Blue Snarfing and Blue Jacking exploit others' Bluetooth connections without their knowledge. RFID, Radio Frequency Identifier Radio Frequency Identification RFID, uses electromagnetic fields to automatically identify and track tags attached to objects. When triggered by an electromagnetic interrogation pulse from a nearby RFID reader device, the tag transmits digital data, usually an identifying inventory number, back to the reader. NFC, Near Field Communication Near Field Communication NFC, is a set of communication protocols for communication between two electronic devices over a distance of 4 cm, 2 in, or less. NFC can be used for sharing small files such as contacts, and bootstrapping fast connections to share larger media such as photos, videos, and other files. Disassociation Dissociation, in the wide sense of the word, is an act of disuniting or separating a complex object into parts. Cryptographic attacks A cryptographic attack is a method for circumventing the security of a cryptographic system by finding a weakness in a code, cipher, cryptographic protocol, or key management scheme. This process is also called cryptanalysis. See also Category Computer Security Exploits, Category Malware. Plain text. In cryptography, plain text usually means unencrypted information pending input into cryptographic algorithms, 
usually encryption algorithms. This usually refers to data that is transmitted or stored unencrypted, in clear. Ciphertext Ciphertext is also known as encrypted or encoded information because it contains a form of the original plain text that is unreadable by a human or computer without the proper cipher to decrypt it. Decryption, the inverse of encryption, is the process of turning ciphertext into readable plain text. Rainbow Tables A rainbow table is a pre-computed table for caching the output of cryptographic hash functions, usually for cracking password hashes. Tables are usually used in recovering a key derivation function, or credit card numbers, etc., up to a certain length consisting of a limited set of characters. Dictionary A data dictionary, or metadata repository, as defined in the IBM Dictionary of Computing, is a centralized repository of information about data such as meaning, relationships to other data, origin, usage, and format. Oracle defines it as a collection of tables with metadata. Brute Force Brute Force is a method by which malicious attackers try many passwords and passphrases to correctly guess a victim's credentials. The malicious attackers programs an algorithm that systematically checks all passwords until the correct one is identified.